Hi, Dave Bailey here, and thanks for watching the video that I just finished playing. And uh, man, that was a lot of fun. It's been a long time since I've had all of my equipment set up at one time in one room. Uh, I've been using pieces here and there lately, but uh, never have I had them all set up at the same place. So I've got them here in our spare room for a week or so, so I'm going to try to make the best of it while I have it all set up. Shoot a couple videos. Uh, I am going to do a video showing each piece of equipment, probably individually, but uh, for this I figured I would just show any gearheads like me that uh, like to see how a song was recorded, and I'd give you a quick rundown of, of how I just did the song that you watched. Um, this is my Roland RD300S. It's a weighted keyboard controller from 1988 or 87. Um, it's not the new model RD300 that they have, uh, but this is the original. And I use this primarily to control all the other keyboards, which is why I was playing this most of the time. This is a Korg T3 I bought in 1990, and uh, it was providing the bass sound, which I'll show you. Of course, this is my baby. This is my Roland D50. bought this new in January of 88, um, and we were getting the uh, Oberheim synth patch out of that. Behind me is my General Music SK760. This is a workstation keyboard with a bunch of built-in drum patterns and accompaniments and a 32-track MIDI sequencer, which wasn't being used for this song. Uh, but I do most of my writing and stuff on this. <coughs> this little thing up here on the top is a Yamaha AW4416. This is a 16-track hard disk recorder. And primarily today I'm using it as a mixer to control all this stuff, as well as uh, recording all the direct audio for this video um, so that it sounds better, hopefully. Um, I'm going to have to move the camera to show you the rest. Uh, down here in the racks we have a D550 rack mount with a Leslie simulator. Uh, it's a Korg G4. I was not using that one piece. It's the only piece that didn't get used today. Uh, below that I have an Alesis S4 Plus module, and below that I have a second Roland D550. Um, each one of these modules and keyboards is hooked up to four different volume pedals and three different sustain pedals and then I have switches over here for the drum machine for the drum fill because I was able to throw in drum fills with my feet while I was playing that. So I'll show you really quickly how I set it up. Uh, basically the RD300 was providing me with the clavichord sound love the clave in this in this keyboard. There's no reverb built into this keyboard. It only has about nine sounds. It's mainly a controller. Uh, so I have an Alesis Nanoverb here which provides just a little bit of reverb. Nice little echo on this keyboard. The Korg T3 I was using a patch called Killer Bass which I really love this patch. So that was layered underneath the clave, and the third layer I had underneath the uh, clave and the bass was the Alesis S4. I'm a sucker for piano, so I always like to have some piano in the mix. So we bring that up with the volume pedal, and you can hear a little piano and strings. So that added a little bit of uh, flavor, so we've got our clave. We've got our bass, and we've got our Alesis piano, and we ended up with this. Um, in the middle of the song, I added even one more piece. The uh, D550 behind me has a string patch. So if we listen to that real quick, my all-time favorite, Arco strings. So I left the clave in, I think I still had the bass in, and the little Alesis piano, but then I brought those strings in on top of it. So, a lot of stuff piled up in there. The D50 had this cool uh, Oberheim synth thing going on. This is from my uh, Super R&B card that I've had for a while. And I found this synth last night, and I really liked it. I 
edited it slightly. Um, the D50 is not in the MIDI chain, so it wasn't being controlled. It's just a standalone board on this song, so I could do whatever I wanted. <laughs> Um, I did start using the sustain pedal on the D50 only while I was working two sustain pedals with my feet so I could get this going on. So I thought that would sound cool. And then of course the drum machine is coming out of the SK760 and I have the fill pedal here to throw in fills because I like it to sound more natural. So my feet were pretty busy. That's pretty much it. Um, everybody was uh, in on the game on that one, and it was a lot of fun. So thank you so much for watching my videos, and uh, have a great day.